Deserts are known for their extreme temperature fluctuations where they can be incredibly hot during the day and surprisingly cold at night. Several factors contribute to this phenomenon. Number one, lack of water vapor and humidity. Water vapor is a significant factor in retaining heat. In humid environments, water vapor traps heat and helps maintain a more constant temperature between day and night. Deserts, however, on the other hand, are very dry and have a very low humidity, meaning there is little water vapor in the air to retain heat. As a result, the heat escapes quickly once the sun sets. Number two, low cloud cover. Clouds act as an insulating blanket by trapping heat and reflecting it back into the ground. Deserts often have clear skies with minimal cloud cover, which means there is nothing to prevent the heat from radiating away from the surface into the atmosphere. This allows temperatures to drop rapidly after sunset. Number three, sand's thermal properties. Sand heats up so quickly during the day because it has a low specific heat capacity, meaning it doesn't require much energy to increase its temperature. However, it also loses heat rapidly once the sun goes down. The rapid heating and the cooling of the sand contribute to the wide temperature swings between day and night. Number four, sparse vegetation. Vegetation can help moderate temperatures by retaining moisture and releasing it slowly. Deserts typically lack significant vegetation, which means there are fewer plants to store and release heat. The absence of vegetation further contributes the rapid loss of heat after sunset. Number five, radiative cooling. During the day, the sun's rays heat the surface. At night, in the absence of sunlight, the heat absorbed by the ground during the day is radiated back into the space. This process, known as radiative cooling, happens more quickly and effectively in the clear, dry air like in desert, leading to a significant drop in the temperatures. So deserts get so cold at night due to lack of humidity, cloud cover, thermal properties of the sand, sparse vegetation, and rapid radiative cooling of the ground. So these combined factors put together, heat is quickly lost after the sunset, resulting in a significant temperature drop. So that's it for this video, guys. So hope you guys found something useful from this video. So if you do find this informative, check out our other videos from the channel. So until then, this is Raghav from Curious DNA signing off.